Hey guys, it's Jimin here and welcome back to another Dragonville video. It's that time of the month again when I get back on Dragonville, see what they added to the game. And today they add some really cool stuff. If you guys do not know, I've been very busy clutching up in Apex Legends. Cracked them. Besides that though, I can finally now check on Dragonville to see what the add is to the game and will it be actually something to make me come back and play the game. So yeah, that's gonna be the question here. They added two things though. One thing I'm very interested in, which is the Mega Tat, which is a habitat island you can buy for 1,500 gems right now. The max price is like 3,000, but you can put up the 15 dragons in it and produce gold. It's literally just an island that's a habitat. So I'm very curious about that. And the other thing is the new Colossal Island, which is a gargantuan island. So we're gonna be checking out both of those here today. So for right now though, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually get the new Colossal Island and then look at the new Mega Tat afterward. So how we're gonna actually get the Colossal Island is pretty straightforward. Instead of paying gems, we're gonna use a wish. I've actually had this wish for a while now that I just haven't had any real reason to use it on, but this actually gives me a legitimate reason to actually buy something in game. And because I'm not gonna be able to get this actual new giant on my main account because my main account, I've not logged in enough to actually get the free wish. So uh, yeah, here it is. Here is the new Colossal Island. So here is the overgrown island over here. And then usually, the the other colossal island or not colossal the gargantuan islands right here so you can see this one's on the top left of actually the thing so uh yeah if you want to know where the colossal island is it's pretty much bottom of your park on the left hand side further up from the uh, overgrown it's not much different than the actual gargantuan because it's got the same amount of space there isn't much to it and that's all to be said about it so the second thing we're gonna check into now is actually the new actual giant habitat that's a, literally a freaking island that's the thing i'm more curious about and we're gonna actually spend some gems to get it because if you guys do not know i got a bunch of gems for you guys from supporting me logging in and just sending me stuff every single day even though i don't really play as much anymore so i do appreciate that because then when i lock in dragonville actually do some of these videos once in a while it actually does help a lot and i mean like a lot so we're gonna buy this here it is half the price usually it would be three thousand it's only one thousand five hundred so let's buy it for us right now and of course here's the island oh it looks actually pretty nice it's right next to the actual other gargantuan island we just got here and i don't know this island is very simple i don't know why I feel like this island should be a lot more detailed for some reason, but I feel like this island has less detail on it than in some habitats. But maybe that's just a me thing. So let's check it out now. So if you click on the island itself, you will get an info and collect bar, and it can carry up to 15 dragons and can only go up to 3,500,000 gold. It works very similar to an Omnitat, where basically you just have a ton of dragons in the habitat. And of course, it can be any element like you see here. And this max of gold amount is 1.7. So yeah, it has definitely more gold. I feel like the island though should be able to carry up to like 10 mil. That's at least in my thing, but still 3.5 is not bad, but it's not as good as it could have been. So let's actually move some dragons on into it just to see how it actually looks with 15 dragons overall. You can't actually put gem dragons and some other dragons into it, which is kind of unfortunate. They should have just made it so you can put gem dragons in it but they don't stack over time so you still only get one a week they could have made like you get three you can get gold from this island or you can get gems too as a reward to collect and also collect gems too that's what they should have done that way it would have been so cool it would have been such a cool feature but i feel like that was a missed opportunity with this actually island but maybe that's just a me thing for right now though let's move some dragons on over I'm literally putting some dragons in. I'm not even maxed out of the amount of dragons you can have in it. But so far, you can see the icons get smaller when you put more dragons in. And for some reason, when you put the dragons on this island, they're very small compared to like the actual habitats. Or maybe it's just their normal size and I'm just tripping because it's way too easy to see them. But yeah, this is really cool looking, I'm gonna quickly say. And also, it's producing a lot of gold really fast. I actually haven't tested yet to see if the gold farms will affect this. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so I've moved a few of the boosters over just to see if it actually affects the dragon. But dragons don't get affected by boosters when they're on this island. So yeah, if you're looking to actually make this like a huge gold farm, um, yeah, you're not going to be able to do that. It's kind of a missed opportunity. I feel like you should be able to do it. But at the same time, I kind of get why you can't. Because if you can place 15 sand dragons or 15 gold farm dragons on just one island, you probably produce a ton of gold. Like right now, it's already at 15k. Like me just looking at it, like I wonder how much it would produce in a few hours. What I might do is after I move 15 dragons on over, is just go afk for a bit and just come back maybe an hour later and just see how much of a difference it makes if you have like multiple good gold dragons on this island 
Okay, so I've finally maxed out. I tried to put another dragon on here, but I can only put 15. So uh, yeah, here's what 15 dragon looks like it on Dragonville. Honestly, it's kind of hilarious that how much of the actual bar gets taken up. It, like it fills up the whole thing. It feels like you should be able to scroll it. You know what I'm saying? Like a scroll wheel. But uh, yeah, it's already producing like 20,000 gold just this alone, which is actually kind of insane. And the only fortunate thing is though, when you like zoom out, of your park you can't really see too much with it but if we go to park view we should be able to see this just a little bit better so that would give us a nice view of the thing so here we go here's uh what it looks like the island if you want to just like you know spectate all of your dragons on it honestly looks really freaking cool I, i'll give deca props on this one besides the missed opportunity of not being able to have like gem dragons go on it because i feel like you should be able to collect gold and gems on this island that way you can like collect maybe one gem a week or stacks up to two or three on this island and then you can get like three mil gold on top of it too. It would have been a really cool opportunity to do that, but it was just entirely missed. But I do think like this is a really cool thing they added into the game. Hopefully add more of these, but they don't make them so expensive. I feel like they can make a cut down version of this island for like five dragons or maybe like 10 dragons, right? But it doesn't cost as many gems because like 3000 gems for this island to me doesn't seem like it's worth it. Just because one, you're spending what, what 3000 gems only being able to put 15 dragons on here that aren't affected by boosters and you can't collect gems from them. So yeah, I think they should make another version of this where they collect gems and gold and then make it only cost like 1000 gems, but you can put up to 10, only 10 dragons, maybe not 10 dragons, maybe like five dragons, but it'd be, it'd be cool if they could do that. I don't know why they just didn't do that. And then also, the, if it has five dragons, make it affected by your boosters. I don't know why they missed out on that. But uh, yeah, still cool nonetheless. Well, that's everything new that came to the island expansion. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting, then make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed. I can't say well until another Dragonville video. It might be from a month from now or maybe a few weeks from now. But I'll definitely check out the game when they drop another big update. But until then, I'll see you guys for another video. G-Man out.